Welcome to the first ensemble for former protection. The focus of this ensemble will be former confidentiality. In this ensemble, we're going to build a very simple application and we will program the binary to the board. After that, we will connect to the board using STM32Cube programmer and try to read a former content from internal flash. And next, we will set RDP to level one and try to read again the user flash content. At the end, we will make a RDP level regression from 1 to 0 and see the behavior. We will also make a very minor modification of the application and program the new version application to the board. The hardware board to be used for this sensor will be G071RB nuclear board. And apart from that, you will also need to prepare some tools and software. For example, you need to download the hands-on package corresponding to this hands-on. We have some pre-created projects. You don't have to do everything from scratch. And we will also use STM32Cube programmer. In terms of IDE, it's okay to use any of the three listed here, IR, KO, Cube IDE. Um, we will also need a terminal tool on the PC to get a print message from the board. On my side, I will be using Taratum. For you, you can use any terminal tool on the PC as long as it works. If you have downloaded hands-on package, you should be able to see some project zip files. And the one that we are going to use for this hands-on will be this one, g0app.zip. You can just unzip this project file, and then you will get all the necessary files for the project, and you can just build from there. If you have everything ready, then we can start. OK, this is the first hands-on for former protection. We're going to use some um, project that has been created previously so that you don't need to do everything from scratch. So for this hands-on, if you have downloaded the hands-on package, you should be able to find several zip files uh, for different projects. So for this one, we're going to use this one. If you unzip those files, you should see something like this. And then for this first hands-on, we're going to use g0 and the store app. Um, project. So here, in this folder, you will see uh, three projects. It's actually the same project, but uh, using different IDs. So you can choose the one that you like or the one that you have. Okay, so just open the project and do a compilation. Okay, you can do it uh, on your side. We can take a look at the source code, see what it's doing. Um, this is actually a very simple application. Uh, the project is generated from uh, CubeMX. So in this folder, you can also see the CubeMX project file. If you wish, you can also go open this file and go inside to see what is there. It's basically just uh, I create this project using CubeMX and uh, choose the board of uh, G071RB Nucleo and keep all the default configuration for all the peripherals. So it will generate the base of the project. Uh, uh, the only modification I made is uh, the clock, uh, clock frequency. So I changed the clock frequency to make it running at the highest speed for this chipset. OK, that's it. So it will generate uh, the main code, the BSP uh, driver initialization code, and so on. On top of that, I just added uh, a few more lines. Here is the com you need to initialize the UR port um, for the print message, and then a two function calls for initialization of application and the running of application. So this application is also very simple. Um, it's just uh, so initialization is just to a GPIO initialization for the LED4 because we're going to do a GPIO toggle uh, at the end. And uh, in the app run function, there is a function call to a test. We are not going to use that test right now, but this will be used later on in the um, bootloader hands-on. So anyway, you can you can ignore that. There will be some print message coming from this test as well. And after that, it's just an endless loop uh, doing the LED blinking. That's it. So if you have uh, compiled the software, you can just download it to, to your board. Assuming, I assume that you have a G071RB nuclear board on your hand. And uh, um, so 
Info programming to the board, let's connect to it and make sure we have, have it ready. Okay, uh, let's make sure that, check the option byte. Make sure you're in RDP level zero and uh, we remove all the protect protections. Uh, no secures a memory. Okay, no write protection, no PC ROP. Okay, so now we have uh, correct option bytes, then we do a Fuji erase. Okay, then we have a clean board right now. Then we can download it either from, um, you can download the binary either from the IDE or from your uh, cube programmer, both should be fine. So after programming, we can connect to the board through the uh, power term just to get the print message coming out of the board. And then we do a reset. So now you can see uh, some messages printed from the application. Um, right now, you don't see any LED blinking. That is because this test function didn't return yet. Uh, you can press uh, X to exit from the test menu, then LED blinking will start. Okay, then um, the next practice we're going to do is to set the RDP level to one. So we will do it in uh, Cuba Programmer. So we set RDP to level one. Ah, before doing that, let's just take a look at the flash content. So Right now, if I do a read of the flash, uh, starting from the base address of uh, internal user flash, I can read the content. And if you make it bigger, you can also read more. You can actually read a full former binary from the flash. Okay. Then let's change it to level one. But be careful, don't choose CC here. Make sure you just choose BB because CC means level two. And you know that level two means JTAG is closed. So you will not be able to connect to your board anymore. So if, if you don't have a software that is able to update your software, uh, you have a dead board, you will not be able to connect it anymore. You cannot upgrade, you cannot change the form on, on the flash anymore. So be careful, don't choose that, choose BB, apply. Okay, disconnect and connect again. Now you will see an error message saying that data read failed. That's normal, that's expected, because that's um, the purpose of uh, RDP level one. So in this case, you will not be able to read anymore the internal flash content. Actually, you will not be able to erase the content either from JTAG port. For example, if I try to do a, a sector erase here, there will be an error. Or if I want to do a full chip erase, that's also not possible. Okay. So now, at this moment, if I want to change the software on the flash, I want to make a new version. For example, if I can uh, comment out just this line and, and uh, make a build again, F7. So if I want to download this new version of firmware, the first thing I need to do is to do a RDP regression from level one to level zero. So you can do it using the cube programmer again. Line. Okay. Then now we can read the flash content again, but then you can notice that all the firmware that we previously programmed to the flash is gone, disappear, because RDP level one to level zero regression will introduce, will trigger also a mass erase. So the full user flash space will be cleared. Okay. But now we are able to download another version of the software. Okay, let's do it. We can download this new firmware, assuming it's a new version, and then we can 
um, reset the board and see the print message. Okay, we res reset the board. Then you can see uh, the print message is a little bit different than before. There is no more test menu from the application and the LED4 is blinking right away. So if you do a reset, see, okay. So now you know um, how RDP level one, maybe two also can be used to protect your firmware on the flash from any access from the debug port and uh, how you can do an RDP regression from one to zero and then you can program another version of the former to your board. Let's do a recap of this sense on. So in this sense on, you have seen how we can use RDP to protect the firmware confidentiality and what is the effect when RDP is set to level one. What is needed if a new version of firmware needs to be programmed to the chip when RDP is already set to level one and how to do RDP level regression from level one to level zero.